I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Kim. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Corvette channel. Today we're going to be installing this really cool accessory from c8rallydriver.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool mod from c8rallydriver.com. Now this is a dual purpose mod and I'm going to lift it up here and show it to you but this goes and covers the storage area inside the trunk and what this does is one it serves as a, as a nice really cool cover for it for your car during a car show it allows you to be able to keep stuff inside your storage compartment without it being seen because this will be right over the top of it and then you also have its main purpose and I don't know how many of you guys know and have already dealt with this that when you get water inside this engine compartment when you drive you're getting, you're getting water from the screens you're getting dirt from up underneath and then you want to be able to clean your engine compartment and you end up getting water inside the storage area so what this does this aids in helping you being able to keep the water out of here so when you come up here and you spray this off you're not getting water down in here I just had a friend of mine that just did that with his he made his engine compartment look great except for the fact that he got water in, in the carpet and had to let it dry out. So this will help eliminate it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to install this. It's an extremely simple installation. So um, just sit back and we'll show you how it's done. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take this and we're just going to set it inside the trunk area here in the storage. Just kind of prop it up here like that. Just kind of get it out of the way. And I'm going to show you this too. This is the little bag that they include. It's a zip bag, you can see here, okay? And this is how you store it. You just literally just roll it up and then you put it in here and you can set it in your trunk. It's really, really simple to store. It does come with the instruction manual, but after you watch in my video, you won't need it. And it also has some examples of some of the things, some of the models or versions that they have, and I will put those up here upon the screen so you can see them. Okay, it also comes with the 16 screws. Now, in the instructions, it does say, and I'm going to follow this to the letter, is that they don't want you to tighten these with a screw gun or a power screwdriver or anything like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use my power screwdriver to be able to pull the the T15 Torx screws out, but I am going to put the, the snap the snap and the screw in with a regular screwdriver, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go right here like this and we'll start pulling these screws out. So you've got one there, right here on the corner. Now you can see here what we did is I pulled that one, this one, these three, and then we're going to skip this one right here, which is the last of the the little tab that holds the, the side of the, um, the bumper on. Then we're going to go ahead, we'll leave that one there, and we'll start on this one. And then again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip this one. Okay, so now we've got all these out. Like I said, we skipped this one and we skipped this one right here. Okay, now I am done with my screw gun because I'm going to follow the instructions. So these, these, uh, these snaps, I'm going to show you one of these. So it comes with some Phillips head screws. You can see like that. Okay, and then a snap. So guys, what I'm going to do now that I've got the screws out, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set them in place. Okay, I'm just going to put them in there. I've just put all the screws with the snaps in there. I'm just going to set them in there. That way I don't, don't drop them. They're just going to sit in the holes for right now. We'll get those all, all dialed in. Okay. And then I'll come back with the screwdriver and we will tighten them all up. This way, I 
and found it to be where it doesn't feel so so awkward. Okay. All right. So they did give me two extra screws, so that will, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but they did give them to me, so that's always nice. You can tuck those away. What we're going to do now is we've just got the screws there. We're just going to tighten them down. Now, again, you just want to snug these. You do not want to just, like, tighten them down, tighten them down. You, it could strip the um, uh, could strip the plastic out, crack your fender, a lot of different things. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be loose, right? You just don't reef it down. Okay. All right. going to do now is we're going to go ahead and you see here that there is there's two there's like a bungee cord right here okay and those go up over here in the engine compartment okay so they go up right here and you're going to feel it there's the only spot and it's it's hard for me to show you but all along here there is nothing that you can clip this to but once you get pretty much to the center here you can get your bungee clip underneath there okay you're just gonna put that on each side okay so I'm gonna move this out of the way just like that okay now now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can start to pull this over so you can see this is where we start to get where we can get to our snap so we're just pulling that and we're gonna snap it in place like that Okay, and then we can do the same thing all along here. And by doing this, you're getting the proper tension on the snaps without hurting the fabric or the car. Okay, just like that. And then we can go over here. And we can do the same thing. And as you get over here to this side, it starts getting a little bit tighter. And the last snap. This look awesome. I think it's going to look really great at my next car show. It's just going to make this engine compartment pop, as well as help me be able to keep the storage area of my trunk clean and dry when I'm trying to trying to keep my engine compartment clean. So guys, hopefully you like what you saw today. This is an awesome product. It looks great and it also has a functional purpose of being able to keep that water out of the storage compartment. So if you want to be able to get one of these for yourself, be sure and reach out to c8rallydriver.com. Use the code Corvette channel to get your 10% discount. So guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. Those of you that have subscribed to the channel already, thank you so much. Those of you that have watching and you just, or is your first time and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And I just want to thank you all for watching today and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.